Hi, Virgo. Welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot. I'm Shawnee. Welcome to part two of your reading, Virgo. Thank you for returning to part two. I'm so excited to get in, dive in, and see what else messages uh, we are going to expose here. Messages from spirit. All right, Virgo. So we pretty much left off um, ending the reading uh, as the reading was getting very long. Um, I did read some of the comments. Some of you said make your videos more shorter. So you guys let me know how you feel about that. And, you know, I do these readings because I do enjoy them. But it's for you, Virgo. All for you. So let me know if you guys would like the videos to be like a little bit shorter, like uh, 15 minute max. <laughs> let me know. Or if the videos, how I've been doing them works fine for you. Um, I have no problem making those changes. All right. <clears throat> um, also, I'm going to be randomly selecting um, from my, uh, for my viewers. Okay. For my subscribers, this is just for you. Okay. So I just want to say this really quick and we're going to dive in. So Virgo, make sure you guys are subscribed, like, and comment the videos because starting today, well, really starting, I think I put this out a few days ago, but actually starting today, the 29th, January 29th, I'm going to start pulling from the comments from each video, and I'm going to pick a random person, subscriber, to do a personal reading for. If you're interested in this gift that I'm giving you guys straight from my heart, because I appreciate all of your love, all of your comments, all of your support, all of your donations, all of you who've been booking personal readings for me, from me, I want to give something back to you. So this may be something like coming in unexpected that we've been talking about. All right, Virgo, this could be just blessings coming into your life in many different forms. All right. So if you guys are interested, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're liking the video and comment down below is key. All right. So that I can pull you from, you know, pull your, pull you in randomly. Okay. So if you want to participate, you know what to do. All right, Virgi Virgs. That was a lot, <laughs> but okay. Let's see where we're at here. All right, so we left off with Spirit's message. Holy Spirit's message for you this week, January 29th through February 4th, is that, this is that, and this is interesting because I didn't really pick up on it or really like say too much about it um, in part one, but this is that energy of breaking those chains. That's what, that's what's happening here. That's the magic that's unfolding. That's why you're getting the energy. This stressful situation is coming to an end. All right. We have the devil card in reverse. This toxic hold that's been upon you, like you're just in an endless cycle. When I see this card, it's like someone trapped on a dance floor. They just, you know, can't get out of this cycle. It was fun at first. It was blinding. You weren't sure what was really going on or how it would end, but you've just been in this endless cycle and now it's turning into a dramatic, traumatic, stressful, depressing scene, okay? It's like life was just becoming very dull and not exciting and draining, Okay, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively um, and from the image from this card. I feel like you weren't very happy with your life. I feel like life was literally like just being pulled and sucked out of you. Okay, so that's what you're coming out of. And that's the message from spirit. Okay, that's where we left off Virgo. But just keep in mind, I'm getting like the energy I heard dizzy. Um, that's what I'm picking up when I see this card. It's like, Virgo, this is how life has been. Life has just been rough. It's been stressful. This is just going to work every day, getting up, going to work, you know, 
dealing with the people at work, going home and just life has just hasn't been so, you know, what is that point? Life to me ain't been no crystal stare. That's what I'm hearing, <laughs> you know? So it's like, for some of you, it's just like, it's just been a struggle every day because you're not happy. Or it's just like with this devil energy in the upright, that type toxic cycle you were trapped in, it felt like you were weighed down. All right. So I just want you guys to know that this is the energy that's going to be ending very soon. All right. And spirit wanted to reveal this this week. All right. So this is beautiful. And yes, you guys, like I said in part one, promise me that you will put yourself first. Virgo, that you will prioritize yourself. This is what's going to gener create self-healing. This is what's going to create self-healing. It takes time to heal. So start doing it now. Put yourself this week as a priority. Just see how it feels when you tell certain people no. When you're like, you know what? I ain't got nothing to do. Yeah, let me take myself out for a walk. I'm telling you, people going to be looking at you like you crazy. Like, what is, what is she on? She's like, you know, doing her self-care, you know, in the bathroom, your facials, taking good care of yourself. I'm telling you, when you start focusing on you, that's when you get all the attention you're looking for. That's when everybody wants to invest in you and treat you how you deserve. So why not? You don't have to ask anybody for anything, Virgo, when you take care of yourself. And I had to learn that recently. <laughs> this is stuff I've learned over the last five years. So, Virgo, all right? So, I'm just sharing a little bit with y'all. So, message from spirit. You're coming out. You're breaking those chains. You're coming out of a, to a toxic cycle that you were drained in and you never saw the light. You never thought it would end. This is like, wow, this is big. This is a big breakthrough. All right. So I want to get a little bit more clarity here. Okay. So to clarify a little bit more for my Virgo coming out of this devil energy, this also could just be bad behavior traits Maybe overindulgence, like drinking too much, partying too much, you know, not taking care of yourself, not drinking enough water. I just heard for some of you. Yeah, that's that, you know, that energy I'm picking up. Don't want to hear any, don't want to hear it. Don't want to see it. You know, don't just completely shut down. You know, where you were maybe not getting the, the, the spiritual guidance. Okay, I'm just hearing all of that. But it's cool, Virgo. You're going to shape shift your way right on out of this energy. You're going to go from a girl who or a guy who was looking like they maybe was stressed to a winner. What was that at the bottom of the deck? Yes, you're going to go from, yeah, you're a fighter, Virgo. You got it. You got it. All right, Virgo, this is us and you know it. If you're a Virgo, you know we got this. Like when it comes to competition, competitive energy, that's what gets us going. That's our secret. Don't compete with a Virgo. You'll lose, okay? <laughs> it's funny too cuz you know, it just lets us know, you know, it was fun. Thank you for the competition, but really was it a competition? Like that's Virgo energy, right? Virgo, this is the energy you're in and everybody's going to be attracted to you, how you care for yourself. So set your, yourself up on a high pedestal and that's exactly what other people are going to do. They're going to copy how you treat and value yourself. Okay, so this is all what's happening this week. The will of fortune keeps wanting to reveal itself because this is letting me know here's that queen of um, queen of swords. Virgo, you know how we are when we're in this energy. I love this queen for us because this is how I feel like even though the queen of wands is all about ready to take action, I feel like the queen of swords is, the, is ready for business. 
Okay, this is our serious side. This is our professional side. This is a, the side of us that are, is very intelligent, very wise. You know how they say Virgos have that old soul? Okay, I feel like we tap into this Queen of Swords energy. Okay, so Virgo, I feel like there's... Um, this always comes down to you, Virgo, doing something very intelligent or getting some sort of wisdom, guidance. Okay, that's what it always comes down to. Um, Virgo, you being led out of the dark, pulled out like, mm -mm, you're special. You don't belong here. And that's what I'm hearing. We have the Wheel of Fortune here was at the bottom of the deck. I saw it when I was shuffling and here it is again. I feel like this is very significant because this is what Spirit is saying. That there's a new cycle here, an unexpected change. This is something that may rock your world. Let me tell you why I said that. Because with the Eight of Wands, I said, you know, what's coming in unexpected? that Virgo needs to be aware of, that need, Virgo needs to be prepared for in part one. If you haven't seen part one, check it out. But Virgo, um, the Eight of Wands can represent feeling a little overwhelmed. Even though she's ready here on the card um, to receive, ready for abundance, this card can represent someone also being very like overwhelmed with everything happening so fast. All right. So definitely be mindful of that. Virgo, I feel like this is fast movement, fast energy. Um, this is good karma. This is a change in your finances. This is a change in your life. This is a new cycle happening for you when it comes to fortune, when it comes to money, when it comes to your stability and wealth. And that's what spirit wants you to know this week is very special it has a lot to do with remember everybody's time divine timing is different this week some of you are going to be ending a cycle of stress let me show you what a visual looks like of that stress you're going to be leaving behind for some of you you're leaving this stressful situation in the past, it's coming to an end soon. This toxic, draining, depressive lifestyle that you felt you were going to be stuck in forever is now in reverse. Okay? And that's due to this will of fortune. A sudden change. A new cycle. One ending, a new one beginning. All right, so that's what's happening, Virgo. It's very beautiful. I love it. It may not have always been pretty. It may not have always been fun, but it was all worth it because it gave you strength, motivation, clarity, self-awareness, and it showed you just how powerful you really are. This was meant to happen. Everything that's been happening to you was to show you, Virgo, you're still here. You're still standing and you still can receive. Okay? As long as you bring it into fruition, you have to bring this miracle in. You have to want it. Ask for it. Remember what we were talking about with this pen. Write it into your existence. You've been gifted this blessing to create the life you want. For some of you, I would get a manifestation journal or get a prayer box and get to writing. Start writing down just how you want your future to look and watch it unfold. It's a very, very magical time, Virgo. All right, so let's keep going. I want to see, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so we're going to use the, the same deck I used initially, if I can spot it. Let's see, the deck, let me see here, where is that deck? The deck I used initially, huh? 
Hold on, Virgo. I know I have so many decks. And it's because I'm going to be eventually moving everything downstairs. I haven't really... Yeah, so I'm still getting things organized. All right, Virgs. Now we're going to look at the outcome energy. With everything going on, what is the outcome? And I know I talk a lot, so let me go, let me know guys if you want shorter videos. What is the outcome energy? What is the possible outcome for this week? Wow. Look what, did you guys see that? All right. Ooh, we. Wow. This is the same energy that came out before. So Virgo, you guys are going to be stepping into major op opportunities. Okay, you're going to be you're going to be you're in the energy of collecting just so you know. You're going to feel very secure. You're going to have money that you can put up, okay, in the savings. All right. You guys are that's that security feeling with the queen of and queen and king of pentacles. You're going to feel secure when it comes to your finances, Virgo, and it's not going to take labor and 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 burning yourself out and breaking your back to get there. We have, I can't show everything. This card is completely nude. Um, but Virgo, this is the universe here. All right. So Virgo, this is like a message, another message from the universe. Another message from the universe. Ace of earth. And we all know what that is. This is the ace of pentacles. So Virgo... Mm, I'm looking at that energy different now, aren't we? Let's just see what else came out. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, Virgo, you're in your feelings. I love it. I love it, Virgo, because we need to be in our um, feelings a little bit more. But Virgo, I feel like there's a tower. This is that shock, that shake up, rocking your world type of energy, okay? I feel like Virgo, this sudden shock, that's coming in is this opportunity from God, from the universe. We have four of feel. This is a blessing coming in that you just don't see yet, but it's right over your head. All right. The four of feel. Don't miss this opportunity, Virgo, focusing on things that you lost, focusing on things that had to be cut out of your life focusing on all the stressful events. That's going to rob you as you're in your feelings, okay? It's going to rob you of the blessing that's coming in, all right? So don't be in your feelings too long, Virgo, all right? Because it may get you focused on, you know, things that you may have lost or things that, you, you know, people that may have left out of your life. We have feeling completely secure and satisfied, when it comes to the outcome, this is like that type of joy that you cannot buy. Okay. You got a new house. You got a new car. You live on the, on the block, on the street. You've always wanted the neighborhood, the school districts. You got everything you wanted. It doesn't give you joy. That's what this 10 of coin, the 10 of uh, feel is. I have my family. I have, it's like being completely happy with what you have. All right. So for some of you, it will be an abundance. It will be new property. It will be a new soulmate. It will be your children happy, living a better life. For some of you, that's exactly what's coming in. Even though the newfound joy that you have don't even need the material possessions that are coming. That's what I'm hearing. That's the blessing. You being completely satisfied with what you have, with life, feeling the abundance of love around you. 
But like I said, for some of you, this will of fortune, this money that's coming in, it's going to shake you up. It's going to really like throw you off where you you may even find yourself overwhelmed. But what I'm looking at now from a whole different perspective uh, that I that I was saying at first, now I'm like, wow, Virgo, starting your reading out, you're going to be in this energy. Collecting your blessing. There it is, guys. Let's not forget. We had these two cards come out as well. King and Queen of Pentacles. All right. So that's what's going on, Virgo. This new beginning. Expect to receive. All the hard work is going to pay off. But don't be in your feelings too long when it comes to this devil energy. Because you're coming out of this energy. And as, as you come out, Look at this. It's like she's so happy. Look at this. Coming out of this energy. It may shock you. It may be overwhelmed. Overwhelming. Look at this. Look how freed she is. I don't even know if you can see it. Look how happy and free you've been. Like what it may take to get you out of this devil energy this toxic hold on your finances or over your over your good karma over your energies over your life she's freed now he's free all right so that's why virgo it don't matter what situation you're in you can always break free and i love that all right so let's let's dive in i want to see all right so virgo the overall energy the overall outcome is that you're going to get a fresh new beginning but this new beginning is going to be filled with major opportunities that will will require hard work this new beginning will require hard work but you're dedicated with the queen and king and King of Pentacles, you're dedicated, you're loyal to this new beginning, and it's going to pay off with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get a quick money card because it will pay off. The Ace of Pentacles, this is a bright new future filled with abundance, living a very nice lifestyle, feeling very happy and fulfilled with the life that you have. When it comes to Virgo, I was looking for one card, but we have check your mailbox. Details, information will come to you about this abundance. So any kind of details you're looking for, information expected to come to you when it comes to this abundance. So this is like, um, this could be spiritual downloads coming to you in your dreams, through a book you read, through something you heard on the radio. I feel like th there's going to be messages coming to you when it comes to your own personal abundance. So stay tapped in. We have work smart, making the right choices. That's that queen of uh, swords energy. We have 50K. All right. So check your mailbox. We have 30K is coming. Be prepared, it says. Blessings is being delivered. That's the energy I've been picking up. This week is like a delivery time. Expect it, wow, it says expect it this week. Seven days or within seven days, blessings are being delivered. Wow. Online shopping addict. I know I'm guilty. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have a very special video for you guys coming up, um, a promotion um, that I'm going to do for February 1st, uh, so stay tuned for that. But yes, I have totally been shopping my butt off, <laughs> so we got to take, I have like, I, you know what, let me just take it, pull it really back a little bit, <laughs> but yes, Virgo, pay attention to what 
makes you happy, anxious, distressed. You may need some new hobbies. If you find yourself, oh, I'm bored. Let me shop online. Just be careful and mindful of that, Virgo. You may need a hobby, okay? Um, like, you know, make sure you guys are getting your workouts in because I'm like, you know what? I could have did some working out. I could have walked or went out or, you know, did a little exercise around the park or something. So, Virgo, let's just make sure that we're taking good care of ourselves, you know, and not just sitting up shopping up away, Okay. Manifest more income. I feel like this is exactly what you've been doing, Virgo, and it's paying off. Congratulations, guys. I see that you are utilizing this time. You're utilizing the power that you've been given. You're utilizing all that you've learned and all that you've been taught. And you're, you know, you're making it happen for yourself. So good job, Virgo. Now let's move on for love this week. We're going to pull a couple cards to see what is the energy surrounding Virgo when it comes to L-O-V-E. So let's see what's going on. I have a specific deck. And I'm just like, where is everything at? Where is the deck I'm specifically looking for? Let's see here. Okay, if I don't see it. Okay, fine. I'll move on to this one. This one's a good one. Okay, this gives me some good messages. Let's see here. When it comes to Virgo... For this week, when it comes to love, when it comes to love, what is the energy this week? Keep the door open. Love your shadow. Engagement, pay attention to red flags, twin flame at the bottom of the deck. This person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so scared. Oh, excuse me, so sacred to you. Okay, this person is your mirror soul. So this is why the connection feels so sacred to you. So you could be with a twin flame at this time. Virgo, just stay open, pay attention to red flags, know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. There's tons of videos on YouTube about unhealthy, toxic, karmic soulmate relationships. So definitely look at that um, so that it can help you pay attention to the red flags. Um, so for some of you, I'm going to save this card for last it says, love your shadow, accept the work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are. So Virgo, that's just what I was talking about right now. Virgo, focus on, you know, fully, truly prioritizing yourself so that you can see the love that people have for themselves as well. Like, you know, you can value someone taking the time out to work out or, you know, eat healthy or this or that. Virgo, you'll value that more when you do it is what I'm hearing. Like fully, fully give yourself all the love you need so that you can appreciate when someone loves you or, you know, you'll be able to um, learn to accept people with flaws. Okay. I, mean, I said people, uh, learn to accept others other other people's flaws all right the more that you can accept yourself so that's a good one um because you know virgos we can be a little judgmental because it's like we know exactly what we want and some people don't understand that level of clarity okay so the last card we have is um oh well it says keep the door open don't be so focused on the closed door that you don't see the ones which are open for you. So there may be somebody you have your eye on, someone that you've always wanted to date, but they may not be available. 
Spirit is saying stay focused to the people who are interested in you. They may not be perfect. They may have some flaws. Um, but if it's like, you know, a physical flaw, like he's too short or whatever, um, for example, cause you know how women could be, you know, they, they want a man tall and, you know, feeling like we can be protected, whatever. But it's like, if this person, I feel like it's, it's always fair to yourself to give a person a shot, even if they're not the ideal person you've thought of in your head, because if you, if your spirit enjoys how this person cares for you, that is what matters. Because what will happen is you'll grow to love and appreciate everything about that person, even their looks. All right. So, cause love is blind. And once you get to that point of love, you're blind. <laughs> so Virgo, we have engagement. Your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, Virgo. So this is beautiful. For some of you, that's exactly what's going on. There's other opportunities around you for love. There may be a one closed door you had to shut on someone, but spirit is like, stay open because there's many more opportunities. Okay. And, you know, pay attention to the red flags, but at the same time, be accepting of others, other people's flaws, because we are not always perfect either. All right, Virgo, especially if you're looking to be married one day, you may have to not lower your standards, but just, you know, try to look deeper into someone besides their looks or, you know, um, like, you know, like little stuff that, you know, may not really matter, you know, like some people are like, oh, I don't own a car. I don't own a vehicle. You know, what for? I love to walk. I'll lift if I have to, whatever. Like some people will be like, oh no, he doesn't have a car. He doesn't want one. That's not the type of man I want. Like when you find out, like, you know, he may be the type that, you know, like, hey, I don't mind, you know, walking or whatever. But when you talk to him and like, you know what? I just prefer to, you know, have a car or whatever. He may be flexible, like, okay, for you, yeah, I can do that. So you never know the situation if you just cut it off quickly. Um, so, you know, that's what I'm picking up, guys. But this is the energy for love, my Virgos. I'm loving the energy. I wish I could give you guys another reading just to tack on for the love energy for the week, just a complete separate reading for love. But you guys don't watch the love readings. All you got to do is go to my channel and look at the titles for love. It's like, you guys are not feeling it. So that's why I have a whole second channel for love. Okay, so go to Intuitive Spiritual Messages 333 if you would like a love reading. All right, Virgo. But this is your reading part two for the week, January 29th through February 4th. I hope you guys enjoyed it, Virgo. But this week, expect blessings to be delivered. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay blessed and beautiful. Bye, Virgo.